One quick movie magic nap later, and we're in Madeira. Let's get this adventure started, ladies and gents. All right, so here's the game plan. We are at the Funchal Airport in Madeira. Rent a car, drive down to our Airbnb, which I'll show you guys when we get there. And then the adventure begins, because I'm just gonna skip most of this boring stuff, because honestly, I said it before, I'll say it again. Do you guys really want to see me in an airport? I don't. thinking of doing like an MTV crib style, here's where we're staying, but let's do some classic awesome B-roll. Check this place out. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell him run it off. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip, this wet. Tell him run it off. So that's where we're posted up for the week. It's pretty sweet, honestly, back home in Toronto, a condo like this probably cost you like a couple million dollars, but got some pretty sweet digs, so let the adventures begin. Oh, by the way, I'm with a couple people that you might recognize from older videos and older yoga retreats. We got Super Dave, who seldom wears a shirt. Are you ready for some adventures? Oh, absolutely. Okay, good. I've already had one adventure already. Yeah, we've already had one adventure. <laughs> As I was going outside to give you guys the proper room tour, you know, obviously you want to start from the outside. I got locked out, which, <laughs> you know, it happens. The door locks automatically. So I said, hey, let me text my buddy Dave or my other friend, Ash. Maybe they'll let me in. That didn't work, so I slammed on the door. Guess what? That didn't work either. So I rang the doorbell a thousand times. That also did not work. So that little intro B-roll tour, Took about half an hour when it should have taken two minutes. So our adventure's off to a rough start. Um, we couldn't figure out how to get out of the building. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. We can't figure out how to get off the premises. As you can see, Ash in the background still trying to get out. Can't figure out which key is which. And we haven't made it anywhere yet. And it also looks like it's about to rain. So we're not, we're not doing so hot right now. The keys don't work and we can't get out of the building. And we thought to get out of our condo place, level zero or level one, yeah, okay? Yeah, because we're on floor two. Because we're on floor two. It is floor three to get out of the building. It's who, like an underground, I don't know. Who does that? Do you see what we're walking through right now? This For those tricky. of you who are newer to the channel or just don't remember the Santorini vlog, that's Ash. She's putting on the show here. <laughs> and I am fortunate enough to attend with my camera. I'm sure if this is how this adventure is starting, there's gonna be a lot more insanity, so don't change that channel. All right, now that we managed to make it out of our hotel Airbnb area, we're seeing the streets of Madeira and it's actually kind of cool. Like it's like a modern city, but with like old school vibes. So far, I recommend it. But if you're gonna come here, just, you know, Make sure you pick a place to stay where you know how to get out of it. Viewers at home, you will notice a very drastic difference between the last shot and this one. That one was outside, it was light, it was middle of the day, and now it's dark out and it's nighttime. Well, we wanted to catch the sunset and it was a little cloudy, so we sat our butts down at a restaurant Got a really beautiful view, didn't really see a sunset, started drinking because they gave us free drinks, yep. had some good dinners, then had to drink David's drinks because he doesn't drink, and now we are on a little bit of a tipsy adventure to go to a supermarket to get some water because it's been like 18 hours of travel and we need to hydrate. She's right. And on that note, I'll catch you guys in the morning when we do something actually adventurous. Good night. Oh. oh. Okay. Let the adventures begin for real this time. Oh, this? No. This isn't the adventure. Just waiting for everyone to get ready. So 
first spot of the day, Porto Moniz, I believe it is, or Mons, don't ask me because I'm not Portuguese, but we are at the natural pools. There's like man-made ones and natural ones, and it's kind of dope. We're just sort of waiting for sunrise so that I can shoot and drone and do all that fun stuff. Check this place out. to the man-made pools and this place is sick. It's like just wide enough to fit in, all cut out from the rocks. It's dope down here. Like, come on, is this place even for real? Way too cool. If you're ever in Portugal, I definitely recommend it. Well, I guess if you're ever in Madeira, I recommend it. Stop of the day, cable car ride down to a little lookout point. It's pretty high up, so I'm excited to see what this looks like and I will show you guys once we get on the cable car. It's literally like straight down. I thought it would be more like on an angle. Nope, it's like whew. Ash, are you afraid? <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dave, how are you feeling? Are I'm you... feeling okay. I'm just uh I'm just waiting for Ashley's reaction. Oh my God. You don't have, like look behind you. All right, folks at home, I don't know if you can see behind me, but it is Sit steep. Down, sit. I can't really show you guys at home because of the window, but it's steep. It is steep. Ash isn't freaking out anymore. Okay, it's a little smoother than I thought. We're almost there. <laughs> we made it safely to the bottom, and this is where we came from. All the way up there. Ash was literally crapping her pants the whole time. I was. Don't let her tell, well, I was gonna say don't let her tell you otherwise, but she just admitted it. Apparently it's like a really nice, oh yeah, it is a really cool view down here. You got like the side of the mountain, little crashing waves. So we came, we saw, we checked out the view down here, now we're heading back. But we decided why stick to the path that we chose to get down here. Let's take the creepy, rapey path back up. Check this out. Cable car, this way. This is the kind of path where you hear stories about tourists getting abducted. It's a good sign. We're heading in the right direction. It's not as creepy over here. Everyone's still safe. And now it gets a little creepier. One of two things is gonna happen. Either we're gonna get to the cable car nice and safe, or some crazy local put up those signs to trick tourists, and he's gonna eat us. Let's see. Still alive. Anyone home? Okay. And we made it back to the cable car, but we're not out of the woods yet because there's no cable car. We gotta wait for one to come down, so we have to fend off the locals until then. Look at this little guy. This little guy is in love with the dead cat on top of the camera. And but he's a little scared. Oh, here he comes. Come here, buddy. There you go. Let's see. Okay. He likes the dead cat. Oh. <laughs> Here comes. We're almost in the clear from the cannibal locals. Get in. You afraid? No. <laughs> I'm a little better going down knowing what to expect. And we made it. We're safe. Oh, On to good. the next one. Oh. Those are the adventures for day one. I'm gonna grab some food and probably just edit photos, go to bed early, get a good start because tomorrow we're going to the Pico de Arriero. That'll be dope. See you tomorrow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is way too early o'clock. We just had the freakiest ride up to the top of this mountain. And now we're gonna explore Pico de Arriero. 
Hopefully when the sun comes up and I can actually show you guys what it looks like. So for any of you watching this, if you ever come visit, dress warm. A hat, a sweater, and shorts is not appropriate weather. Condition clothing. That's, I'm so cold I can't even think right now. This is pretty crazy up here. Like you're literally above the clouds. Look at this. Sun's coming up. It's pretty dope, but it's cold as hell. I'm, I'm kind of speechless right now, folks. Look at that behind me. Probably one of the coolest places I've ever been. And I mean cool as in like awesome, not cool as in freezing, because it's freezing. So we haven't quite started the walk to Ruvio yet because it's freezing. We're gonna go back to the car, regroup a little, warm up a little bit, and then maybe attempt it if the sun comes up and warms things up a little. Whew. Seriously, people, I can't stress enough, A, how beautiful it is, and B, how warm you have to dress. Post pit stop at the car. Warmed up a little bit. We are back on our hike. Let's see, oh Jesus, it's freezing again. There's the wind. Oh man. It's gonna be either, I mean at the very least we'll try and get the drone up in the air and get some footage that way. I think that's the least I can do. Oh. We've decided to start our descent or ascent to Pico de, what's it called? No, the other one. Ruvio? Oh, Ruvio. <laughs> we decided to head to Pico de Ruvio, but so far, you can see behind me, it's just kind of cloudy and like, I mean, we're in the clouds, so you can't really see much. It's a little foggy right now. We're hoping it clears up a bit, otherwise, we might have to turn around and head back. So, in a vlog not too long ago, we were shooting in the forest. I said one misstep and certain death. I kind of take that back and I want to say it now because actually one bad step and see ya look at the side of this mountain this is the path we're walking on Woo. and i like i'm very hesitant to vlog and look at the camera because i just want to look down and make sure i don't flip <laughs> look at how steep this is oh my god ash are you scared oh yeah Hey mom and dad, if you're watching this, don't be afraid because obviously it means I survived it and I was able to upload this to YouTube. So yeah, it's a freaky walk if you look behind me, but it's so worth it. And you people at home, I feel like I've said this 12 times already, but come to Madeira, do this walk, trust me. You got a cliff on one side and that's the other side. Ash, what do you think of the walk so far? Pretty epic. Yeah? It's beautiful. We, we definitely got some bangers. Yeah. Maybe I'll show us a couple on the screen right now. What do you think? Yeah, let's Show the it. people at home some of the pics we took. Oh, show. Beautiful. Oh, man. Would you recommend this hike? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Give yourself lots of time. Bring snacks, hydration, and layers. And, yeah, dress warm because you can always take off the layers. Yeah. Now, for those of you watching who are interested in coming, there is actually a really long path. It's about six kilometers to Pico de Ruvio, which is another peak. We didn't quite go all the way because as you can probably see in the background here, it got very cloudy and the recommendation is that you don't bother when it's cloudy because you can't really see much and it's true. Once the clouds sort of picked up, you can't really see anything and you're kind of just hiking down a really skinny path. So we decided to turn back. All right, update. We're like a third of the way back. Ash and I are dying. We had to stop. <laughs> and Dave's just not even phased. Look at him. Quadzilla. Quadzilla. <laughs> we got Quadzimoto over here. Saw that lizard lunging, crawling. Yeah. Acro yoga with Super Dave. Not only is the walk difficult, but it's also a huge tease. Check this out. See that ball up there? That's where we need to go. Down there. That's the path to get there. So you would think, hey, we're headed in that direction. Wrong. We're headed in the opposite direction. Ash, how you holding up? Better now that we're going downhill. Yeah, until we have to go uphill again. Oh man. Whew. I'm gassed. We saw Pico de Arriero. 
The photos are unbelievable. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't know what else on this island can top that. Still a lot of adventure left. We're gonna head back now. Maybe get some lunch. Do some slower paced stuff where I don't have to watch where I'm looking and walking while I'm vlogging. I'm exhausted. I taste blood. On the way in, you don't really notice it because you're taking pictures and it's so picturesque. But on the way back, you really feel it because you're done taking pictures and videos and you just want to get back to the car. Good news is, we made it back. Bad news is, I can't feel my body from the waist down. So, my legs are still there, I just checked. But I'm hurting. Somebody come rescue me. We're almost back at the Airbnb from the adventure, but Madeira is kind of being a dick right now. Because look at what we have to do every time we want to go back to our Airbnb. Check this out. Ooh, yep, all the way up there. Climbing that massive mountain wasn't enough. We have another mountain to climb just to go home. I d what is that, been like 10 steps? Oh my god. I'm exhausted again. All right, Dave, one quick nap later. Where are we going? We are going on an adventure. Dave, I told everyone at home that this whole thing is an adventure. <laughs> you okay. have to be more specific. We're going to a beautiful waterfall on the side of a road. Yeah. Oh, you heard the man. Dave, are we there yet? Yeah, we're almost there. Have we arrived at our adventure? No, that never was there. Okay. Hey, number one. I screwed up the directions. Number two, the wait, road. Wait, 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 wait. Who figured out the actual directions? You did. You're yeah, the man. I did. Dan, the man, did. All right, thanks to my great directions, we made it to our destination, and it's this. Check this out. Tiny little waterfall right in the middle of the road. All right, we came, we saw the waterfall, we drank water, <laughs> mysterious water that we probably shouldn't have drank, and by we, I mean me. And now we're gonna go eat and drink, and I'll probably catch up with you guys in the morning. Later. Dan out. Oh, shoot. There he is. Oh, my God. All right, 47 minutes later in the back of a trunk, I'm ready to start. Let's go. So the downside of being locked in the trunk for almost an hour is I have no idea where we are, where we're traveling to, but it seems kind of nice. It's like a rainforest looking place. I don't know what to expect. I see some ducks. I guess we're just gonna walk around and explore and maybe take some photos and videos. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it from being in the dark like that. Whew. Okay, so Ash has just informed me that this place is called the what? The Levada of the Green Cauldron. There you and go. It's all the green. Yeah, it's uh, it's very green. The name seems appropriate. Oh, we're being summoned back. We started the adventure by walking the wrong way. Who knew? Now we're walking into the forest. Don't stay on the brick path. Go into the muddy forest. Obviously, that's the most common sense thing to do. I just realized you folks at home must love this because you get to experience like a four hour hike while you're sitting in a chair and not breaking a sweat at all. That's how much I love you guys. I'm willing to hike with 15 pounds in my hand and sweat my bag off climbing to these crazy places all over the world so you guys can watch it from your living room. I love it. And if you guys love it, I mean, I'll keep doing it. Just gotta hit that subscribe button. Little mid video subscribe plug. Also, I'm noticing a common trend in all the places I go. It's like just tiny paths where if you take the wrong step, Certain Death. I feel like it should be like a, a mini-series, Certain Death with Daniel. Jesus. Ooh. Just narrowly avoided Certain Death right there. Check out how thin this path is. It's actually so hard to vlog because it's like maybe th a foot and a half wide. Like just wide enough for your feet and it's all like uneven, there's roots sticking out, there's stones, and I'm like looking up and down. I apologize for my poor vlogging at this point because I feel like every adventure I go on with you guys, we always go somewhere where I have to look down, pay attention to where I'm walking, instead of looking at the camera. So, again, I apologize if I'm not making eye contact with you people back home. I will be just as surprised as you guys when it comes to arriving at the destination. I'm in the dark here, well, 
I'm in the forest here, but you know what I mean. Three hours later and what feels like five million kilometers later, I think we made it to our destination. That was weird. I think we made it to our destination. I think we made it to the destination. It's a waterfall with like a little bowl of soup underneath. I guess that's why they called it the Green Cauldron. Check this out, ladies and gents. Maybe let's do some epic B-roll for this one. Once you come to these spots, the only thing left to do is hike all the way back. I am here with Tiff. If you don't remember her from Santorini, you might be a crazy person because no one ever on this channel has had that colorful of hair. <laughs> now Tiff, something we have seen as viewers and travelers are these lavadas on the side. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they were put here so that men had like a urinal system to pee in <laughs> while they hiked. Is that true? Uh, I will have to correct you because you are 100% wrong. <laughs> well then, I might learn something today. What are they for? So the lavadas are actually here to channel the fresh water from the interior of the island down to all of the seaside towns because huh. otherwise they'd only have salt water and nobody can drink that. There you go. So I probably shouldn't have peed in it then. <laughs> I didn't pee in it. Game I don't need over. any like nature activists while watching this freaking out that I'm peeing in Lavadas. Don't worry, it's still fresh. There you go. And that was a nice history lesson with Tiff. Where to next? We're into Santana to see the traditional houses. Is that where Carlos Santana is from? I think yes. There you have it folks. We're going to see Carlos Santana. Away we go. We're in Santana checking out some traditional houses and I, I was lied to. They said that Carlos Santana would be here and he's not here. No. So where'd he go? I'll just have to settle for these cute little he's houses. Supposed to live in there. Check it out. That one's mine. And that one's Dave's. Is the rest of the house no, we downstairs? No nah, man, that's it. That's it, right? That's it. These houses are already small enough and there's are steps to go even higher. I'm basically on the roof of this thing. Let's see where we are. Oh. Baby, baby, do something cool. Oh, cool, that was cool. And that's about it, we're literally done here. So if you ever plan on coming to see it, it's like a supplementary thing. Don't make a whole day out of it. Get maybe a couple photos, but like you can literally see it all in like five minutes, so. It's cool, I guess. All right, folks, we're back at the Airbnb, and the next adventure is actually the reason why I'm here. Let me remind you guys, my life is not all glamour and travel and exploring. Most of the time, I'm stuck in my office. The reason I'm here in Portugal is for the yoga retreat. It's time for me to start filming, start shooting. I'll be sure to bring you guys along because there will be excursions. I'll still be vlogging, but I think I'll save that for Madeira part two. See you guys in the next video. Love ya. Okay, let's go. We're, we're plane supporting.